So I just watched Fede Alvarez's Alien Romulus. Now, caution spoilers, if you haven't seen the movie yet, drop a like and come back later. Alien Romulus takes place in between Alien and Aliens, two masterful sci-fi movies by this man right here. This is Ridley Scott. Now, I just told you he did the Alien movies. He also did Gladiator and one of my favorites, Blade Runner. Pausing right here to say that if you haven't seen either of those movies, go do it and then come back. Now, Alien Romulus was not directed by the former. Alien Romulus was directed by Fede Alvarez. Fede Alvarez has produced some absolute bangers in the last couple years. He's a new director, but he had Don't Breathe and the remake of Evil Dead, which a lot of people love. Now, to talk about the movie. Did I love the movie? Yes. Would I see it again? I'm planning on it. <laughs> I think this photo right here perfectly captures why I love it. The whole movie makes you feel like you're watching an 80s sci-fi movie. The filming, the film grade, the attention to detail in the spaceships. Uh, just look at that. Look at that image. It is beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's just, you, you're, oh, I, I mean, I, well, I'm at a loss for words. It was so, chef's kiss. On top of production design and direction and set design and sound design, there was this man, Benjamin Walfish. He composed a banger. This movie takes place smack dab in the middle of two of the greatest alien movies ever made. And he took some of the themes from those movies and some of the themes from Prometheus, which is a prequel directed by Ridley Scott, and combined them to really uh, thematically combine the movies even without storytelling. Just the motifs from Prometheus that were relevant in some of the most prominent scenes really brought the whole franchise together just with this one movie. Now for casting and him. <laughs> this is David Johnson. And if you don't know, he's a newer actor. Uh, for the two people that watched Industry, you know who I'm talking about. But man, he carried this film. He is the best. I already cautioned spoilers, but if you've made it this far and it wasn't spoiled for you, spoiler, he's an AI. He's a Wayland Corp AI that was decommissioned and then uh, refurbished by one of the characters' dads. And he is amazing. There's so much depth and so much creativity within the acting choices that you are on the edge of your seat every single time he is on screen. He's brilliant. Shout out, I'm Patrick T on Twitter, sorry, X, for this amazing tweet, because yes, that, that's all you need. <laughs> Another amazing standout, Kaylee Spaney. Like, absolutely amazing. Look at this, look at this, look at that. <laughs> the acting is so good. All in all, should you see this movie? Yes. Should you run to see this movie? Yes. Uh, I'd give it a solid 8.5 out of 10, maybe even a 9. I enjoyed it. I saw it once, and I will undoubtedly see it twice.